Hello everyone and welcome back to Hannah's Happy Home. Today's video is going to be a whole house clean with me. So we'll be working our way through the house today, getting every room cleaned up and working on laundry. I'll also be sharing a few summertime recipes and a grocery haul. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that it can give you lots of motivation and inspiration today. Before we get started, I'm just giving you a quick overview of some of the rooms in the house and the mess. It had been a busy week and I hadn't really kept up with my cleaning routine. We had a party coming up that weekend and we've got company coming next week. So just going to spend the day getting the house reset and getting things back to normal. The first thing I'm going to do is to get a load of laundry started. When I have a day of cleaning, I always like to start the laundry first thing in the morning. That way I can hopefully have all of the laundry done by the end of the day. And usually Monday is laundry day, but like I had said, I hadn't stuck to my cleaning routine that week. So this was Friday that I was getting all this cleaning done. So the laundry had been stacking up all week. There was a lot to catch up on today, but thankfully I did get it all finished and most of it all put away by the end of the day. But if you're trying to get all your laundry done in one day, the key is to stay consistent that day. As soon as it gets done in the washer, you have to stick it right in the dryer or hang it right up on the line. And then as soon as those loads get done in the dryer, try to fold it right away, or at least once you have two loads, try to fold those right away. And as soon as they're folded, put them away right away. If I just stack them in a laundry basket, and set the laundry basket in the room and think, oh, I'll put them away later, I'll put them away tonight or tomorrow morning. They never end up getting put away for a couple of days or a week sometimes, so just staying consistent is key to getting that laundry done quickly. first room I'm cleaning is our bedroom. I got the bed made, tidied up the room, and then I headed out to my cleaning closet just to gather all of the cleaning supplies that I'll need for this side of the house. I've really loved having a designated cleaning closet in the laundry room where I can keep all of the cleaning supplies and products all in one place. It's easy to keep track of what I have on hand, what I'm running out of, and I keep a cleaning caddy in there as well just to make it easier when I'm cleaning over on this side of the house. That's far away from the laundry room I can just gather all of the supplies into the cleaning caddy makes it a lot easier to take things back and forth so as you could see there was quite a bit of dust that had accumulated on these nightstands so I was just quickly dusting the surfaces in our bedroom and I'm using this little duster that I gotten from Walmart years ago it's a really nice little duster to have on hand and the end of that does come off and you can just throw it right in the washer As always, feel free to share any cleaning tips or hacks, routines, whatever you'd like to share down below in the comments. Those are always helpful to read through. And just any comment that you'd like to share, I always love reading through all of your wonderful comments. Stay tuned because here in a couple minutes, I'll be sharing a Costco haul. And at the end of this video, I'll be sharing a few summer recipes. But in the meantime, I'm continuing with the cleaning here in our bathroom. I wanted to deep clean some areas Areas, but not the whole bathroom just doing a quick cleaning in here I cleaned the countertops the sink the mirror the tub really needed to be scrubbed and also around the base of the tub as you could see the floor was pretty dirty behind the tub 
So I did wipe that up back there. I cleaned the toilet, the base of the toilet, but I didn't clean the shower on this day. That is something that I need to do hopefully next week. And then also I'll be coming back and cleaning the floor. I want to dust underneath of this vanity because for some reason it gets so filthy under this vanity. There's a lot of dust and hair and different things under there. So just going to take the long duster and pull all of that out and get it vacuumed up. I did pull some of Levi's toys out of the tub and I put those into the dishwasher. That's one tip if you've got toys for your kids in the tub, you can just pop those in the dishwasher to clean them. You can see all of the dust and dirt that was under that vanity. I'm just using this duster from Full Circle to reach under there, pull it all out onto the floor so that I can vacuum it up, and then get my O Cedar spray mop to quickly mop this floor. That runner rug is from Boutique Rugs. I'll have the link for it down below. It is a washable rug. So when I want to clean that, I can just pop it right in the washer. We've really loved having it in this bathroom makes it so cozy in here. It's nice to have such a large rug. And we actually put this exact same rug in a larger size, not a runner. It was like an eight by 10 size in the bedroom at the flip house. It really pulled all of the colors and the design of that room together. If you miss the flip house renovation, if you're new here, last year we renovated an entire house to resell. So there's a whole series of that over on my channel. And we also completely renovated our home that you're seeing in this video three years ago and that entire renovation is over on my channel as well so if you want to see all of those videos you can head over there and find the playlist Okay, so now our bedroom and bathroom is clean. It smells amazing in there with the oil diffuser going and the candle in the bathroom. And it feels good to have one room and one bathroom completely clean. That's why I like to work room by room through the house and get one room completely finished before I move on to the next room because that will give you the motivation to keep on going and cleaning the rest of the house. So I'm heading back the hallway to clean the three other rooms that are on this side of the house, which is this spare room where we keep some storage, we work out, we've got some computers in here, just an extra room. I needed to tidy up the floor and vacuum in here. Levi is a little monkey right now. He's climbing on everything and he keeps wanting to climb up on this desk and look out the window. Um, next, I'm heading into the hall bathroom, just doing a quick cleaning in here of the countertop, the sink, and the toilet. And then I'll head across the hallway into Levi's bedroom. So as you can imagine, especially if you have kids, a trash can for diapers can get smelly pretty quickly. So I decided to put a few drops of orange essential oil onto some cotton balls and keep those cotton balls in the bottom of this trash can. You can use this hack for any trash can in your house to help with odor. Just put that cotton ball with essential oil in between the liner and the can. I used orange essential oil, which is one of my favorite essential oils. It smells so amazing. 
This one is from Simply Earth. I've been getting essential oil from them for years. Really love their company. I will have their link down below. If you want to check them out and order anything, you can get a bunch of free stuff and like a gift card and things with your first order. So I'm continuing on cleaning Levi's room. There was a bunch of clean folded clothes stacked up on top of his dresser and his changing pad cover. I had washed all of that the week before set it on top of his dresser and never put it away so i'm getting that put away and then i want to put that cover back on his changing pad and there was just a bit of cleaning to do on top of his dresser i wanted to restock the diapers and wipe off the entire top of the dresser because it was pretty dirty and dusty Okay, so his dresser is clean. I'm getting that changing pad put back up here. And this little wooden frame, Jalen actually made this for the changing pad and it was super easy to make just using these little boards. Um, he just measured the changing pad and made it to fit exactly around it. And then this cover I got off of Amazon. I love the little mountains on it and the colors. It just went really well with the theme of his room. As I was walking past these pictures, I noticed how dusty they were, so I paused here to just get these dusted. It had been a while since I dusted this area or just the hallway in general, so I worked my way from the top frames down to the bottom and then also dusted the baseboards. I dusted this door and then I headed out to the kitchen to take a quick break to make us some lunch. One of our favorite lunches to have during the summertime is just some cold wraps and you can either do like chicken wraps, we do barbecue chicken wraps, ranch chicken wraps with the chicken, the ranch and the lettuce, just really simple. Or you can do like ham and bacon, tomato. But the wraps I was making today was just like a ham and cheese wrap. I was using this chicken breast lunch meat from Costco put those on the tortilla. Well, first I put on a little bit of mayo and then I did the chicken breast, the cheese, some pickles, lettuce. I put some tomatoes on Jalen's and then just wrap those up and they are just a really great, easy and delicious lunch for summertime. And I had gone to Costco the day before. That's where most of this food was from. So I'm going to go ahead and put that Costco haul right here in the video. Okay, so I just got back from Costco and we had basically no food in the house. So this is a huge load of groceries. I'll try to make this grocery haul quick just because there is a lot of groceries, but I just wanted to show you quickly what I got from Costco. Okay, so here is an overview of everything. I'm restocking the fridge and the pantry, and then we also have a party this weekend. I've got company coming next week, so we'll start off on this end and work our way over. I got two seedless watermelons, one for the party, and then one for us to just have. I'll cut it up and keep it in the fridge for the week. Mandarin oranges, shredded cheese, the tortilla strips, and then a lot of frozen fruit because Costco is my favorite place to get large bags of organic frozen fruit. I love to make a lot of smoothies. So I got chunks of pineapple, organic blueberries, organic dark sweet cherries, and then just a frozen fruit blend. Also some frozen green beans and then a frozen stir fry vegetable blend. Apples, strawberries, because for the party this weekend, one of the desserts I'm making is a cheesecake with cut up strawberries on top. A bunch of tomatoes because I'm doing taco salad for that party. So 
I'm gonna be dicing up a lot of tomatoes. We'll also have these with cheeseburgers and everything this week. Avocados, sour cream, and then a block of Monterey Jack cheese, and then sliced Munzner cheese. Two packages of butter to restock the fridge, and I can also put this in the freezer. Organic baby carrots, I use these for cooking and also snacks. Three bunches of bananas to restock our fruit bowl over here. We go through a lot of bananas. Levi loves bananas. We make a lot of smoothies. Um, they're just great snacks to have throughout the day. Another bag of almonds for homemade granola, a two pack of some honey wheat bread, and then raisin bran. It's been a while since I've gotten this pita flatbread from Costco, and this is only $3 for this big pack, and these make great little personal pizzas. I've recently switched this over to Chosen Foods Mayo. It's got a lot better ingredients than the regular mayo and it still tastes really good. I got some more taco seasoning, some Arizona raw honey. Kyle wants brownies for his birthday so I just went ahead and got this six pack because I have to make two pans of brownies this weekend and then the other four I'll just keep in the pantry for if we have any other parties this summer. This is for sandwiches and wraps, big box of lettuce for salads and wraps, coconut oil, which I use for my homemade granola and also just baking in general. This big pack of organic romaine hearts is always a really great price. A little package of blueberries. Everybody in our household loves cottage cheese, so I just went ahead and got a big container of cottage cheese. Our favorite salsa, some maple syrup, some dates, and down here we've got big bags of potatoes and carrots. Last three things over here, the 24 pack of green tea. I'm just going to keep this in the pantry um, just to have on hand for parties over the summer and then then a box of tomato sauce and the four pack of organic applesauce. Okay, so now we're back to the next day, which was the cleaning day. It's after lunchtime, and I'm getting the laundry swapped from the washer to the dryer and going to hang some laundry out on the clothesline. And the clothes that I put into the dryer, I did throw some dryer balls in there with those clothes, and I like to put just a few drops of essential oil on the dryer balls. Just gives your clothes an amazing scent, and I usually use peppermint essential oil. That's what I keep here in the basket beside the dryer. And I get questions like, how do I decide what clothes go in the dryer and what clothes go out on the clothesline or why don't I just hang all the clothes out on the clothesline. I would love to hang all the clothes out on the clothesline but it would take quite a while. Usually the only clothes that I hang out on the clothesline is the clothes that we don't want to go in the dryer. So it's t-shirts that will shrink or denim pants, denim skirts, different things like that. Just basically anything that I don't want to put in the dryer will go out on the clothesline and then everything else goes in the dryer. I wanted to show you our favorite game that we've been playing a lot lately. I shared this game over on Instagram. It's called Seven Wonders Architects. It's really fun, just like a quick and easy game. And even if you haven't ever played the original Seven Wonders game, you can still play Seven Wonders Architects. It's really easy to figure out. We play this with my husband's family. I played it with my sister when she was out here visiting and everybody always loves this game, so I'll have the link for it down below if you're looking for something new to try. And the original Seven Wonders game is a game night favorite for us as well. They also have like expansions that you can get to play with the game. Anyway, I just thought I'd share if you're looking for some new fun games to try, so I'll just have all of them linked down below. I'm continuing on with the cleaning there in the dining room. I did a little bit of cleaning in my office. I had gotten this fiddle leaf fig tree with my nearly natural order when I got those nearly natural items for the living room. And I just decided to put that fiddle leaf fig tree in my office. I just need to get a little basket or a little pot to set it in, um, but I'm going to keep it over there in the corner beside the horse canvas.
Okay, so I'm working in the kitchen now, getting this cleaned up. I wanted to quickly wipe off the fronts of the cabinets. So I was doing that as I was working my way around the kitchen. Once the countertops were cleared off and the dishes were gathered over by the sink and the dishwasher, I loaded up the dishwasher and then got started on washing the dishes. And this is the dish soap I've been using lately. It's been working great and it's nice to have such a large jug of dish soap under the sink because you don't run out very quickly. It'll last a long time. I got this off of Amazon, so I'll put the link for that down below. Once the dishes were washed, I got started on cleaning all of the appliances, the fridge, the stove, everything. Um, so I started off by putting my favorite stove cleaner on top of the stove. I spread that around and then let that sit for about five to 10 minutes. While that was sitting, I took my favorite stainless steel cleaner, which is from Method, sprayed that onto the rest of the stove and the vent hood, got all of that nice and shiny and clean. And then after cleaning the stove, I worked on cleaning the fridge. The salad spinner that I had ordered from Amazon arrived, so I was getting that unboxed. This is actually the first salad spinner that I've ever owned, so I'm excited to start using this not only for salad, but also for berries, veggies, anything like that that I'll wash. So now the kitchen is nice and clean, the appliances are shiny and clean, and it's always such a good feeling to have a clean kitchen. It feels like a weight off your shoulders just to see everything nice and clean in the kitchen but now i need to vacuum the floor especially here under the bar stools this is where the boys eat most of their meals so it gets dirty under here pretty quickly and usually at the end of the day i have them clean the floor underneath the bar stool since it's their mess but I want to mop the floor, so I just went ahead and quickly vacuumed everything. And then I'm going to mop the floor while everyone was outside. I usually like to mop the floor either when nobody's home or if everybody's outside or after the kids go to bed, it's always the best time to mop the floor. But before filling up the mop bucket, I cut up half of one of the watermelons to take outside to the boys. They were eating that in the backyard. And then I'm filling up my mop bucket here. This is the O Cedar Spin Mop that I got off of Amazon. And lately I haven't been using any kind of special cleaner to clean my floor. I just do hot water in this bucket with a little bit of white vinegar and dish soap. And that does a great job at cleaning the floors. It's something natural using items that you already have on hand. Okay, so I'm done with the cleaning and the only two rooms that I didn't clean in this video was the boys bedroom and their bathroom which is there in the laundry room. I'm going to have the boys help me clean those two rooms tonight so I just didn't bother filming that. I'm getting the last of the clothes off of the line and then here at the end of the video I'm going to share two quick and easy recipes that are great for summertime. The first one is making personal pizzas with that pita bread from Costco. So I just put the pita bread on my pizza pan. I just use tomato sauce to put on there, spread that around, sprinkle on some Italian seasoning, add shredded cheese. You could do mozzarella or I just use this shredded Monterey Jack cheese that I already had on hand. And then add on your toppings. And this is something you can do with the kids. 
they can each make their own little pizza. We didn't really have any pepperoni or anything like that to put on the pizza, so I just chopped up some lunch meat. We sprinkled that on top, and these are really delicious. I love how the crust gets nice and crunchy. It's a nice, thin, crunchy crust, which is what I love for pizza. The second recipe is a smoothie, and this is our favorite smoothie right now. These are so delicious. If you like cherries, you have to try this smoothie. So first thing you'll put in the blender is your frozen cherries, and then you'll add some milk, a little bit of vanilla extract, a little bit of maple syrup, and then you just blend that together. Put it in your cup, eat it with a spoon, and it's such a yummy summertime treat. You have to give this a try. It is so delicious. So that is where I'm going to end today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it gave you a lot of cleaning motivation and inspiration. If you enjoy whole house clean with me videos, then be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all next week with a new video. Bye.